the next uh, speaker we have, I spent some time with the other night and today, and she's really, really interesting, and she's an expert in peels. I think you're going to love this. is a six-step chemical peel treatment. Uh, Victoria Tabak is an MBA licensed esthetician in two states and president of Nature Pure Labs. She's been in the industry for many, many years, has more than 18 years of experience, master's degree in business, minor in chemistry, and she has been teaching classes on uh, emerging breakthroughs in the anti-aging in industry for a really long time. So she has a model over there who is a friend of mine, and I'm excited to present Victoria to you. Victoria Tabak. There you go. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, hi everyone. Pretty much uh, you heard the whole introduction. Um, I am um, two state licensed uh, and do have quite an in-depth background uh, in chemistry. And um, I have been in the industry for more than half my life and teaching for about 10 plus years. And uh, just a little story, uh, when I first started teaching classes over 10 years ago, I would always get the look of, what is this little girl doing here and what is she going to teach us? And now it's so rewarding when I see those uh, same familiar faces of the professionals who come to my trainings and tell me, Victoria, you are not aging. And for me, as a professional uh, and just as something that's always been very motivating and inspirational for me being in the industry, uh, it's about age prevention. Of course our industry is so advanced uh, that we do have uh, treatments for age reversing, but it all starts at age prevention. And uh, one thing I wanted to mention is as we are approaching the fall season, it is definitely a time of renewal. It's a time for rebirth. Birth for some, um, as you can tell, but um, it's a time for new skin regeneration. And especially uh, this time of year, uh, a great addition to your spa menu uh, is a chemical peel kind of procedure. And um, the treatment that I will be demonstrating for you, uh, it's, it's a special kind of peel. It's not just your traditional chemical peel. It is a botanical uh, chemical peel, and I'll go more into what makes it so special, but um, let's take a look at specifically uh, what are the benefits that we are going to get from this treatment. We are going to smooth uh, skin texture, okay? We're going to smooth the fine lines and wrinkles, hyperpigmentation. It improves acne blemishes and acne scarring. And just to give you an idea uh, in terms of pricing, of course, you know your clients better than anybody else, but the price range for a treatment like this would range anywhere between $115, for example, all the way up to $185 because it is not just a basic uh, peel. It is a peel which makes it advanced enough, but we're also going to be working with ingredients uh, like stem cells and very high concentrations of botanicals. Uh, for a, Because I do have a little bit of um, a limited amount of time on stage. Any additional questions that come up, I will be happy to answer them. I will also have uh, a detailed step-by-step -step treatment protocol of what I will be uh, showing you on main stage. Uh, and you'll be able to get the protocol and find me for additional questions in booth uh, 809. Uh, and I'll be there after the show. So I'll be happy to answer additional questions that pertain to your uh, spa and to your clients. So let's look at uh, as I mentioned, this is a chemical peel procedure, uh, but it's a botanical chemical peel. And some of the actives that we'll be working with uh, are the stem cells, uh, the actual fruit acids der uh, derived from whether it is uh, the apple or, or the uh, citric. So we'll, we'll go more into it, but we're looking at alpha and beta hydroxy acids. We're looking at other natural whitening, brightening ingredients. Um, and we'll talk about some of the botanicals once we're actually doing the demo. As far as your um, client base for this, you pretty much can work with the wide spectrum on the Fitzpatrick scale. It is a very versatile treatment. Um, and because there are such high concentrations of botanicals and herbs in the treatment that also have anti-inflammatory and 
uh, calming properties. It's still appeal, but it won't feel as harsh, even though the results are uh, visible right away. And the recommended, I will show you what the treatment is based on a first session. The recommended is anywhere between four to six sessions, uh, and they're coming in about once every two weeks. You will be able to increase your layers at each following session. So uh, let's begin. And I will provide um, our model with a fan. A fan isn't mandatory with the treatment, uh, but it does, you know, it will still have that tingling sensation, which is um, comforting with the fan, Ronnie. So if you'll just hold the fan, um, and I'll tell you, well, when you feel like it's, uh, the layers are starting to get that sensation, you'll just press the red button. The treatment can be done uh, in as quickly as uh, 30 minutes, even 25 minutes, it all depends on how many layers you're going to do. The recommended time between the layers uh, for especially a first session is about two to three minutes, which would, which would be sufficient, but you can go all the way up to even uh, a five to maximum of an eight minute time frame between each layer for clients that have thicker skin uh, or more uh, severe kind of darker hyperpigmentation. So we're just gonna cleanse her skin. And we start out with uh, the cleanser which has ingredients that first of all, um, they're energizing from the extracts like peppermint. Um, there's uh, a, an ingredient like the um, the malice, it's, it's apple derived, so you're getting the benefit of the uh, malic acid. And the alpha hydroxy fruit acids in there as well. So we're gonna start with, with that. And just uh, about a pea size amount is sufficient. Uh, normally you would do uh, a double cleanse And we had our model cleanse her skin before the demo. So for main stage purposes, uh, we will do just one, one cleanse. And we're beginning the prepping process. And one thing I wanted to mention is when you do begin uh, a peel series for your client, um, some of the recommendations that you want to go through with your client uh, as a, you can say, pre-peel prep is a recommended home care using uh, products that have already some level of uh, alpha hydroxy acids in it. And every single step that I'm working with, uh, it is very high also in vitamins and antioxidants, uh, which have the benefits to neutralize the cell damaging free radicals. We wanna fully get the cleanser off. The glycolic acid also works to um, have a kind of like a degreasing effect as well, which preps the skin as well.
And for demo purposes, I'm going down just to the neck, but you can go all the way down to the decollete. All right, so once we complete the, um, the cleanse, we're going to begin with the preparation. Uh, a preparation is a combination uh, where it has a lower percentage of the acids, which this particular one, um, it is a combination of salicylic, lactic, and glycolic acid. Um, but again, I said this is a little bit different than your traditional chemical peel because it is very, very rich in uh, herbal botanicals. You have the ginkgo biloba, the ginger. So I'm going to use a very thin gauze, okay? In this particular treatment, um, I recommend to do the thin gauze instead of something like a brush because it will give you full control and you can get very close to the eyes. So you're gonna just put your uh, peel prep in a little glass bowl and immerse your, um, your piece of gauze into the peel prep. Okay, and this will boost the efficacy of the next step. Uh, as we start to alter the pH of the skin. So you wanna make sure nothing is dripping and from beginning application to the next step, it should be three minutes. So we'll start from the forehead. light over the eyelid, which is why, again, I like to use uh, the gauze, a little bit of buffering over the nose. We want to get close to the eyes. get under the nose and again when you are using um, the gauze piece you can get very close to the eyes and it gives you full control and for the client they'll feel a little bit of a tingling it is it is after all peeling um, but there are tons of uh, extracts in there, including uh, like grape seed and ginkgo. There's passion fruit, uh, passion flower in there that has anti-inflammatory and calming effects. Okay, so if you want to do the, um, if you want to use the fan, you can. Okay, and you can put eye covering on as long as it doesn't interfere. Um, with getting that uh, upper eyelid area and right under the eyes. So uh, in this particular case, she has very thin skin, so I'm going to leave um, where I get so close to the eye just the uh, peel prep, which already has um, the, the about 12% acids in there. Uh, but in a client that doesn't have a such, uh, doesn't have such thin skin, you would be able to then follow with the, uh, with the additional steps close to the eye. Okay, and before we begin, um, before we begin our, uh, here's my little spatula, uh, the next layering, we're going to just put a little bit, um, I like to use like a nice rich balm texture which has its additional vitamin benefits but I'm going to put it also just in the areas where I don't want uh, the peel steps to, to pool. Okay, so in the creases of the nose. Okay, 
You can put a little bit at the corners of the mouth. And plus, I'm giving the skin a nice vitamin dose here um, with ingredients like Hippophia berry, which has um, omegas in there, which have also amazing uh, anti-inflammatory um, benefits. Okay, at the corners. Okay, so this is where we're going to begin the layering. And like I said, with the first session, usually you would do about two to three layers. Uh, in our model's particular case, um, like I said, she does have uh, thinner skin and she has an event coming up in a few days, so we're going to do just two layers, but really there's no downtime with this treatment. The client will expect if they will have a little bit of like an ashy uh, peeling effect, it's usually around day three or four, and you'll see that even after this one session, there's an amazing result. Um, but the maximum result is typically um, is typically visible at uh, about day three, four. Okay, so again, I took a new piece of uh, gauze square, and again, from beginning time so to the end, about three minutes uh, when you are limited on time. Of course, it depends on the culture uh, of your spa. Is it just very strict? Uh, time schedule or do you have leeway to go a little bit longer uh, but you want to make sure you keep it on the skin for about two to three minutes but you can go longer anywhere between um, anywhere between five to even up to eight for clients that have thicker skin and more severe kind of uh, age spots or damage Just a nice, thin, even layer. And this is our layer one. So with this layer, what makes this peel procedure so special? What makes it so special is that one of the greatest benefits with this treatment is that as we are thinning the layers, we are actually um, creating easier penetration of the ingredients in the product. So uh, I almost feel like it would be a good comparison to, com to compare a chemical peel as also a way of delivery system. In the peel, you are infusing a nice high dose of the alpine rose stem cells with each layer into the skin. And the alpine rose stem cells, they have a DNA repairing effect on your cells. So what that means is every single one of our cells is made up of DNA. And especially with sun damage and maturing skin, but of course, sun damage does a great deal on the cells. There develop damages in that DNA spiral. So when you apply um, the peel onto the skin, the way that the stem cells work is they scavenge out where the damages are in that DNA spiral. They attach themselves to that part of the damaged spiral and replicate the healthy part of the cell. So this, of course, can regenerate the cell. It boosts cell turnover altogether and improves overall cell quality. So you're getting a great deal of benefits. In addition, I did mention it has ingredients like shiitake mushrooms, which has uh, brightening properties as well, ginger, ginseng, calendula, which all have their anti-inflammatory benefits. So this is why I said it is your uh, kind of glycolic 40% uh, treatment a chemical peel, but it's a botanical side of it. And because of all the botanicals in there and um, 
the herbal extracts that also work as um, buffers to the sensation, you're getting the aggressive, uh, fast, visible results, um, but, you're, but it doesn't feel as harsh as um, a traditional, uh, just basic kind of uh, glycolic peel treatment. So uh, it's been three minutes in, we're going to do our uh, second layer, and the way, like I said, the way that I'm demonstrating it to you would be, um, as a first session, and it's recommended for the client to be coming in once every two weeks uh, for a series of four to six sessions. And in terms of pricing and what's appropriate for your spa, um, I'll be happy to go over it um, at the end, and a full treatment protocol is available uh, where you can get it at booth 809. And I'll be happy to go over all of questions as well. So again, I'm going to immerse my gauze. And we're going to time out three minutes. How do you feel? Good. So a fan isn't absolutely necessary, but it does have um, it does have uh, a soothing effect, and I will ask you if you can just turn it on at the end. What the fan will also do? Uh, yeah, you can already start. Uh, what the fan will also do is it will speed up how quickly. Am I pushing? Oh, wrong button. The other one, right there. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. Um, it will speed up also how quickly. Uh, the step will complete its um, keratinization of the dead skin cells. All right, so we're going to keep that on for another two minutes. And again, with every layer, uh, you're getting, again, like this ingredients like stem cells and the herbal extracts to go a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper. Um, and you're taking advantage of the fact that through the peeling uh, action, you are creating um, that epidermal delivery system for the extracts and the peel itself, because we want to do the, we want its appeal, but why not take advantage of the fact that you are, as you're thinning the skin, you're making the skin more uh, accepting and susceptible to everything else that is available through um, the different botanicals and extracts. So I wanted to mention every single uh, step of the uh, peel procedure, we're also infusing the skin with ingredients like uh, arginine, uh, go-to cola, um, even uh, an ingredient like shiitake mushrooms, but specifically arginine, go to cola, and licorice extracts. They are natural um, herbal kind of skin whiteners and brighteners, so you get that additional whitening and brightening benefit on uh, the hyperpigmentation or on even skin tones or, or blemishes from those ingredients brightening the skin as well. Uh, you have the, uh, the, the different alpha hydroxy acids that are um, that are essentially breaking down the the carotene is also uh, you have the glycolic lactic uh, you have malic you have some citric in it so you have the full spectrum of the alpha hydroxy acids and you would have the additional benefits of uh, the beta hydroxy acid which is the salicylic acid which is great uh, because it has um, a deeper ability to penetrate through uh, through oil since it's a lipophilic kind of um, acid. Uh, so that's where the peeling effect is coming in. But overall, it works synergistically to give you that maximum result instantly post-treatment, uh, but also uh, for the days to follow. Okay, so we're going to follow with, um, we're going to do a two-step neutralize. How do you feel? Good. Okay, perfect. And we neutralize 
very, very rich uh, with anti-inflammatory herbal botanicals in here. Here it is. And any of the coloring that you will notice, it is from the actual extracts that are in there. You have the calendula in here. Uh, you have the passion flower. Uh, you have ginger, which all have anti-inflammatory properties, um, as well as uh, tons of antioxidants. So when you will neutralize, you'll notice you get a little bit of a fizz on the skin. And we just wanna go over all of the treated areas. And it'll feel cooling and soothing as well. And of course, we're bringing the pH back. We are, we are neutralizing, uh, but we are also getting tons of uh, those calming benefits um, from the herbal extracts in the neutralizer. And we're gonna repeat the neutralizing step with a new gauze. And I'm using about um, two, three pipette balls, so that's sufficient, just to make sure I can fully immerse the, um, the gauze in, in the solution. And what's really, really great about this treatment is, as I mentioned before, it is very versatile. So it works for um, pretty much most clients. You just want to make sure the client doesn't have any kind of open wounds on the skin. Um, just the general rule, some rule with um, You know, if the skin is more on the hypersensitive side, if it's just post uh, sun exposure, those are the only things that you want to go over in the consultation with your client. So we did two layers in the demo today, uh, but generally a first session uh, can be anywhere between two to three layers. And uh, the following sessions, I uh, typically recommend to increase anywhere between one to three layers. Uh, and you can go all the way up to eight layers with this treatment. Right. So we're gonna remove everything with a cold towel. And it's also fun with every with every step you do see um, the skin just getting brighter, and you'll notice once everything is off when we start to remove the peel. And it works to brighten complexion, even texture. It smooths uh, the lines. If, if a client has even uh, blemishes or um, hyperpigmentation, obviously the more severe, um, the more severe the damage on the skin, uh, 
the more results you will see with every session. And through the peeling action, you were able to get the stem cells into the skin and tons of botanicals and extracts, which will continue to stay obviously uh, in the epidermis and work their way down. So you will continue um, to experience the results and benefits um, from that for days to follow as well, besides the regeneration process of the peeling itself. We just want to remove everything off. Uh, it is common for a client to feel that tightness and tingling, which is good because it does have a um, firming effect as well. Okay. So I'm going to spray the mist, which essentially um, it will have that additional uh, balancing effect. It is also infusing the skin with cucumber, mint, um, witch hazel, I mean, ginseng, green tea. There's so much extracts in there, but this also does have uh, the go-to cola benefit. And we're going to apply the healing uh, balm, which is very rich with the healing omega-7 from the Hippophia berry. Uh, it has omega-3, 6, 9, uh, beta-carotene, um, a vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin K, so so many different benefits. Um, and because it is a balm, um, it will also have that protective, uh, occlusive um, layer for the skin. And the balm also, um, it has, you know, some energizing from the peppermint in there, thyme, um, some cinnamon in there. So it's really a nice combination. And it also has the healing MU oil in there as well, uh, which is able to uh, further um, facilitate all of the ingredients to penetrate further in. And everything that I am showing up here, it is available on the protocol, so you don't have to memorize anything. It's not a difficult treatment to do, but especially uh, for professionals who might just be introducing a treatment like this into their spa menu. Okay, and for daytime facials, uh, we're going to complete with a nice rich SPF, also very, very high in uh, antioxidants and botanicals, and of course, uh, a minimum of SPF 30 you want to apply on the skin post peeling treatment. This is a treatment that you can offer uh, to your younger clients, to your older clients. Everybody benefits. You have the brightening effect uh, for all clients who have sun damage. You have the age preventative uh, benefits as well as uh, anti-aging benefits from the stem cells. Um, so really it's an, a very well-rounded treatment that will work for all of your clients. And from a business perspective, peels are hot, so it's a great uh, treatment to have on your, um, on your menu. All right, so this is it, and you can see the beautiful glow um, on her skin. You can see the very smooth texture. Um, she, any fine lines that she had, they pretty much, by the end of the treatment, are completely gone. Anything that was a little bit deeper, it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit finer. Um, and overall, the, pig the pigmentation, directly after treatment, it will be brighter, but you're looking at, uh, at day three, four, uh, you will see that maximum uh, peak where the result will continue to build up. Um, and if there is any kind of uh, peeling or kind of ash effect, uh, that would also be at about uh, day three, four. And like I said, this is a great time of year. You know, it is fall. I personally love fall. It, it makes me 
feel like it's time to regenerate and this is truly a treatment of skin regeneration to offer to all your clients. So uh, again, any questions um, that you have? I'm not sure how we are doing on, on time. How are we on time? Um, so, uh, so um, and another thing that I wanted to mention is that uh, with this peel procedure, uh, specifically, um, what makes it so special is that our clients, when they, even those that are used to chemical peel, um, they're used to it just being very straight, chemical, straightforward. I've spoken to a lot of spa owners where their clients are just a little bit hesitant to do a peel procedure because they're like, well, I don't want a chemical on my face. The word chemical sometimes can even be perceived with a negative connotation. And what makes this um, so special is the chemical aspect of it. Uh, obviously, everything is chemistry, but uh, the chemical aspect of it is actually derived from a natural organic source. It's the fruit acids. And where are those acids coming from? Sugar cane, maple, lemon, apple, um, for lactic, uh, you know, like a milk base, sour milk. So even the chemical aspect of it, uh, it is still natural base, even like a salicylic acid, which is actually an amazing ingredient, a great uh, delivery system in itself, but even an ingredient like that is derived from like a willow bark. Uh, so you can kind of, uh, it is a chemical peel, but you want to also let your clients know it really is a, an or, a botanical herbal kind of chemical peel. And I'm I'm sure some of you have uh, lots of questions. I love questions. Um, and I'll be, again, I'll be very happy to answer them. I'll be happy to share the protocol with you. This is one way to do the treatment. This is a way to do the treatment where you guarantee your clients amazing fast results with a cumulative kind of effect, plus with the addition of being able to uh, re-educate cells with the action of these stem cells and other botanicals that are in there. So. Um, Yeah. <laughs> Am I on now? Am I still off? Yes. I'm off? Yeah, I'm and now off. you're on. I was just going to say, can you, what is your booth number so they can find you? Oh, uh, I'm in booth 809, Nature Pure Labs booth number. I will be there uh, till about 1.30 before my next class. So, and I, I love to speak to everybody. I love to share my knowledge. And being a professional myself, I love to learn things from you as well. Um, so please come visit and say hello. Should I have my model sit up or it's okay? Sure, go ahead. You want to show her? Yeah. yeah. So you can see the after effect and you can see uh, her skin truly is glowing and that sheen that she has that glow um, it's the initial remember I said that everything will continue to absorb into the skin uh, so as all of the extracts do regenerate the moisture levels and the hydration levels it will just be an even uh, healthy glow and her skin will look smoother younger amazing looking um, and better and better with each day post treatment so Thank you. Thank you. You're a wonderful model. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you so much.